Good morning everybody, welcome to Kate's Face. I'm Kate from Pixie K Designs and today I've got a little quick haul. Well, hopefully it'll be quick. I'll whiz bang through it. Um, I've just some things, some craft related things. So some of these things I've purchased, some of these things have been gifted to me um, and I just wanted to share them with you. I specifically wanted to share you this lovely package from Lily uh, who is on Instagram. She has a shop on Instagram, which I'll link below, and her own personal Instagram account. And at the moment, she's got this lovely wallpaper in her shop, which um, I bought. I didn't buy this, actually. I was going to buy it, but then she generously gave it to me as a birthday present. But we're going to do a little swap. So there's this beautiful shimmery one, which I thought would look... I don't know if you can pick up the shimmer, but I think I'll use this maybe in some Christmas journals. It's just got this lovely little sort of silver shimmer to it. And then this one, which is just lovely. And these are some wallpapers that Lily recently got on her recent holiday on road trip. And she bought some lovely wallpapers. So go and check them out in her shop. She also sent me this lovely coffee or tea dyed stenciled piece. And this gorgeous piece of... Uh, it might be book page or a print of this beautiful rose. A lovely first day cover, which I always adore. And also I know she found some of this lovely music, blank music manuscript, which is one of my favourite things to use in my journals and crafts. And I'm finding it difficult to come across, but she's shared some of hers with me, which is very kind. A lovely uh, card that she's made and some of her handmade and embossed papers. She's given me some of those as well, which are just beautiful colors and designs on those. And look at this beautiful Holly Hobby card. How adorable is that? I'm sure you all remember Holly Hobby. Now I'm not sure if this is Holly Hobby. Oh yeah, it is. It says Holly Hobby as well. How adorable is that? So thank you, Lily. That is so very kind. And I have got a little parcel being made up for you currently as we speak. Now a few things that I've purchased both in op shops and online. So I purchased this fabric. Now this is a vintage polished cotton. I wasn't sure what it was going to be like when I looked, I mean, look at it. It's a beautiful design. I love it. It is quite shiny. Uh, I mean, it said polished cotton, so I shouldn't be surprised that it's shiny. But yeah, it is quite shiny. I don't know what they used this for because it's kind of got a stiffness to it. So maybe they made, um, I don't know, maybe tablecloths or did they make clothes out of this? Someone might be able to tell me. But anyway, I think that will make a beautiful uh, either maybe journal cover or anyway i love this motif on it it's gorgeous so yes i purchased that on our trade me which is like our new zealand auction sort of site buying site i also bought a couple of books on there which is always a risk this one was really cheap and it, actually the price of the book was cheaper than the postage i loved the color and the design on the front and so, yes, this will be taken apart and used to make a journal. Uh, it's some kind of poetry book. The Ring of Words arranged in three books for use in schools by Reed Morehouse. So it's some kind of school book, but I just really loved the colour and the graphics. So I'm hoping to make that into a wee journal soon. And then this one I loved. I probably over paid for this but I saw it and I just had to have it I love the polka dots and I love this um, embossed gold part here I should have probably paid more attention to the size of the book because I actually thought it was a little bit bigger than this but that's okay because I still love it it's got a small spine so that will be removed and I will then make this into a journal the spots on here are almost sort of slightly raised it's really matte I love the sort of pinkish colour of it. Uh, Songs of the Glens of Antrim by Maura O'Neill. Look at this beautiful age piece of paper in here. 
and yeah so the paper and it's nice and thick nice thick old paper and so then there's all these songs um obviously oh and there's a little bit of dried uh, foliage in here but i am really pleased with it but yes i did probably pay a little bit much for it but i think it'll make a beautiful journal i don't even think i'll want to do much to the front of this although it probably does maybe need something on it to protect it now it might need sealing some might have to risk trying to use a sealant on that one the other thing i purchased because i don't often see things like this in new zealand oh there's a little wee spiders made a home there a little one of those jumping spiders <laughs> uh are these french linen tea towels they're massive like they're way bigger than a tea towel we would buy i got two monogrammed ones this one says vw and this one is white and it says al she had more but i couldn't really afford to get any more what am i going to use them for i'm not sure i'd love to i still have in my mind that i want to do a stitching project of some description but I keep putting it off I, I lack confidence to to get something started but anyway I wanted these so I purchased them and I love them they're beautiful they're just this really heavy linen um, I imagine they'll be quite hard to stitch through I could make one of them into a book cover I'm thinking I would I, I mean they're massive you could get several books out of them so maybe a Christmas journal would be cool on one of these like kind of plain this one's much whiter anyway love those so that was something i purchased uh, another thing that my sister purchased for me was a whole bunch of uh, vintage and antique postcards so i'll flick through these for you they are really beautiful some of them have got writing on the back some of them haven't and not i don't know how many of them have got stamps not many of them i guess some of these would have been sent in envelopes to people so some easter ones look at that lovely one another easter another easter oops sorry i love this one how sweet is that and so joe bought these online for me my sister so yeah so some good little ones in there <laughs> that's that old kind of glittery raised sort of almost foamy stuff that they have you have to find on some of these old postcards cute pretty Lots of pretty ones. Christmas. Christmas in that gorgeous one there. So yeah, thank you, Jo. <laughs> Love them all. I've probably got quite a few postcards now and I think I've got to the point where uh, instead of hoarding them, I can feel like I can let them go because I've got a whole lot. Um, here we have this container now this was a little op shop purchase because i went popped into the op shop after my gym session now i know these should have a whole lot of dividers in here and they don't um i'm wondering whether this would be a better place for my embroidery threads i'm not sure it's a shame i don't have all the dividers but it's still a good little container i oh, know i can't get it to um go in there it's still a good little container and yeah it will certainly house something so i think it was a few dollars so i'm happy with that i found these little memorabilia pockets scrapbooking kind of type things i haven't opened a lot of this stuff to be honest i've just kind of set it down in my room Let's have a look at what these are. I thought they might be interesting to use somehow. I'm not sure. Right, so they're little plastic envelope things that you that are adhesive. So that'd be quite cool for putting things in, in a journal. 
I don't normally put anything sort of plastic in my journals. It's not a it's not a medium that I love. Yeah, no, I think maybe a few of them have been used. Oh no, it says only three, and there's three. So yeah, that's what you get. Three of these. So I I I'll see. I certainly won't not use them. I might use them in my own journal uh, for little memorabilia things like like a few collected shells or I don't know, something that you wanted to protect a little bit. So they'll be cool. I found this little doily. I always pick up these really small ones. I, I like these uh, a lot. Um, so if I see one of these, I often will pick one of those up. And then I saw a packet of doilies here. They're massive. Um, and there's quite a few in there. Again, I don't know if that's an open bag or not. It doesn't really look like it. But they're nice and big and they'll, so they'll make a really great sort of actual page in, in a journal. So I thought I'll grab those even though I do have a lot. I saw these little um, buttons. Just these ones on their own. So they're little self-covering buttons but they're really little ones. I've got quite a few of the bigger ones, but I thought those were quite delightful. And then I saw this little packet of buttons, and I thought, oh, they look like shell buttons, and they are. So I've got those mother, lovely mother of pearl or shell buttons, whatever you want to call those. I was thrilled with those, actually. Don't see them so often. And then I saw these. There were several packets of these. So there were these ones. I've got some of these already. These are quite cool. Uh, they kind of have this tiny little spine here. I don't know, I may have shown you these already. And then another little spine here so they can, you can put something in that frame. But I just thought I must start using using the ones I've got and, and these ones. I thought I could make something cool out of those. And then I saw these ones as well. And these got a lovely texture to them. And I think these are meant to be cards because they came with some envelopes. And yeah, so they fold fold like that. So again, you can put something in that frame and open it up and I guess your greeting goes here. So I thought these were really cute as well. And they've got their really nice textured card and I think they'll emboss really well. So I'm going to have a little play with those also. Now, something I bought a while ago online and I've been waiting for it to come and I'm very excited because it came today. Now, this is from Simpa Exanimo. So, this is from an Etsy shop and I've wanted some of this tape for a long time and I decided I was going to splash out and purchase myself some because I have, I'm really sure that I'll use it. <clears throat> oh look so there we go cat from Simpa X Animo and I will link her shop below oh look and she's included some lovely freebies in here as well so let's open that Oops, she popped in here so I don't know if she's made this envelope. It does look like she has out of this lovely paper. And look, it's got a K on there. And she's included some postage stamps. Oh, and some tickets. Oh, love the tickets. Thank you. And just a little piece of book page that's got a lovely stamp around it. So it's like a label. That's so cool. always nice getting freebies when you've made a purchase so I've been waiting for quite a long time for this because it's come from the Netherlands but I'm so relieved that it's got here safely and Kat will be too so I'll have to send her a message saying it got here and I love it so it is a roll of the German tape measuring tape so yeah I'm pleased with that I've got a few strips that the lovely Monique gave me and I've been hoarding it and I'm just about to run out so I'm really thrilled and it's come in these lovely cards to protect it so really well packaged really sent really promptly and
has arrived safely. So that is awesome. And I will uh, link her shop below. And also, I have to send her a message to say it's arrived. Look how cool the little package is as well. So, yeah, that's my little sort of haul at this stage. So some gifts and some things I purchased. Hope you enjoyed that. I hope everybody's well and getting crafting done and keeping well we are heading in we are in spring now and it's we're having some beautiful days and uh there will be some time spent in the garden coming up i think because yep want to grow a few veggies in the garden maybe some flowers and things as well over the summer it'll be, be a really nice thing to do okay so thanks for watching and i hope that i will see you again really soon in the next video thanks bye